Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity with my self and Lewis. Hope you're brilliant, have yourself a great day. As always, in the last episode, we went and made ourselves a wither skeleton farm, and it's doing pretty well, I must admit. I've started making something else as well, you might be able to see it over there, we'll go over there in a second. That little bit at the top might give away what that is, <laughs> and uh, that's actually what we're going to be working on today. But let me show you the... Uh, farm once more. It's been doing pretty well. I haven't done a great deal between this and the last episode. I generally do a fair bit between episodes, but I haven't this time, purely because I've just been letting this guy run. We're up to 12 skulls so far, which isn't that bad, and, uh, you know, it's doing its thing. If we have a look down here, we've got 35 buckets worth of XP, so all in all, pretty good. And I don't have this area chunk loaded or anything either, so it's only running when I'm kind of about doing bits. I should chunk load this, and I probably will at some point, but not yet. Now, some some of you guys said that there's going to be more items coming out of here, and uh, you're probably very much right, because there are some other farm craft bits and bobs that are going to be coming out, but I haven't had anything yet, so when the time does come, <laughs> then I will uh, add some more barrels, but for now, it's doing just fine. And uh, I've also gone around and, you know, made it look a little bit snazzy and whatnot. Now, I was originally going to make a wither spawner killer majigabob in the nether. And then I decided, you know what, that's a bit of a pain. Like, I'd rather have it in the overworld where it's easier to access. So I'm going to be doing that. Now, let me take you over to where I've started building this. And I'll run you through my general design, what I'm thinking of doing. Because there's so many different ways to kill a wither. <laughs> in modded minecraft and everyone generally goes oh man it, it, i haven't shown you this yet but for some reason my <laughs> my thing now and then it spawns one here it's like one every 10 times it spawns a never pool there and even if i break it it just comes back once again Okie doke, let's go this way. There's a village over there as well. I should probably check that out. I just saw it on the mini-map. <laughs> yeah, so I was looking at different ways to do wither killing. And like I say, there's, there's so many different ways to kill a wither in modded Minecraft. Now, most people go for the same route. I see it all, all the time. You know, make the force fields, use the turtles and whatnot. But to be honest, it's a lot of effort for, <laughs> for something that doesn't really, you know... It's a lot of effort for something that could be done far easier. So I'm thinking of just going with this approach. Now, it's an approach I used to use a long time back where we used to have shock panels, but we don't have those currently anymore. So I'm thinking of doing it this way. And I'm going to be using some Ender IO bits, and I'm also going to be using some Draconic Evolution bits because all the stuff in Draconic Evolution is horribly overpowered. So while I have access to it, I'm going to be using it. Now, these are made of reinforced obsidian from Ender IO, and this stuff is witherproof, so it won't get destroyed via wither, and it also contains the wither explosion which is very nice i've also made myself some dark iron bars that go around this and dark iron bars are made with dark steel and this is pretty much what i've just been making between this and the last episode but loads of dark steel dark steel is made with uh, coal powder we need obsidian and iron and that gives us a dark steel ingot now to make the reinforced obsidian you need four of those you need four dark steel and you need a piece of obsidian so it's a lot cheaper just to make the bars because you get 16 bars for six ingots which is a pretty good trade-off as it has the same amount of protection as these uh, blocks do. So if, if I can get away with making using less of these, I will do. I'm, I'm thinking of actually going around the edge and breaking these and putting more bars along here as well. Because there's no need for these blocks to be here. They're just uh, handy to have. And I'm not sure if they protect machines and whatnot anymore. So I'm uh, sticking with it. Plus, you know, it looks nice, doesn't it? So what's going to happen here is... The wither is going to spawn up there. He's going to f fall down because withers, when they're in their, you know, their charging up phase, they always, they, they drop down. So he's going to fall down here and then he's going to land here and he's going to get auto killed. Now for the auto killing, and I haven't tried this with Mine Factory Loaded. So the Mine Factory Loaded has something called a grinder and I haven't tried it with the grinder, but I have a feeling the wither explosion will break the grinder. So I'm not. 100% sure on that one. You could put a piece of this in front of the grinder because the grinder will grind a 
five by five in front of it. I believe it's a five by five. Might be a little bit more, but it will grind that in front of it. So even if there's a block in front of it, it'll still grind what's behind the block. So you could probably try that, and it might work. But I'm going to use something from Draconic Evolution that's a little bit more expensive, but is extremely effective, and that is the Mob Grinder from Draconic Evolution. It's not cheap. You need a Draconic Core, which is a diamond, some Draconic ingots. So you need to go to the Nether and go and get all those bits, and you need some diamond swords plus a furnace and a little bit of iron. And this guy basically one shots anything. <laughs> So you pop it down, it insta-kills it, and it can run off of coal, of all things. You know, you can you can put RF into it as well. So if you had, you know, some power going into it, you could do that. But I'm just thinking of, where's my... Oh, I was charging my jetpack. I was wondering for a second then where my jetpack was. I was like, oh, I left it in the... Uh, I was charging it. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to be using that. It's really effective. It runs off of coal. It's mega cheap to run. And, you know, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's it's awesome. So I'm going to be using that. Now, I need to carry on going around because I think what I'm going to be doing is laying down the rest of these bars and then maybe having some more bricks near the top. And then for putting the wither skeleton together, because we need to be able to put down the soul sand and the heads, we're going to use a couple of things. So I'm probably going to use some autonomous activators for the heads and some block placers for the soul sand. Because the autonomous activators seem to be, be act a little bit weird with the soul sand. They kind of drop it here and there all over the place. So I much prefer to use the block placers, plus they're a lot cheaper, but the block placers have a problem placing the heads. <laughs> they don't always place it in the exact same place. They, sometimes they'll place it actually on the block placer, not where it's pointing, which is a little bit strange that it does that, but it does do that sometimes. I would rather this run every time, so I'm going to kind of mix and match the two together. So I've made myself in here, another three autonomous activators, which we're going to use for the heads, and then for the body, we're going to use the block placers, which I believe are these guys from open blocks, and they are literally just a piston and a few bits of those. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to need five of these. So let's make all of these. So we're going to need some iron, and I think I put some redstone upstairs. I tried to get most of this together already. Yeah some redstone. There we go. And we're going to want some wood. So let's grab ourselves a few stacks. And some cobblestone. And we shall throw this guy together. So what did I say we need? F five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And is that enough to make all of them? Yeah. Nice. Alright, you guys can go back in there for the time being. And you can go in there. Cool beans. Alright, so we've got the block placers. We have the autonomous activators. We're also going to need a way to activate these remotely because I don't want to have to go all the way up to the top every time I want to spawn a wither. I'd like to do that with a click of a button. So what we're going to do for this is I'm thinking of using some wireless redstone because, you know, this uh, stuff's pretty cool. It does cost a little bit. We are actually going to need some... Why is there a diamond in there? <laughs> I always just throw stuff everywhere without realizing what I'm doing. I'm going to need some redstone and some glowstone. And I'm also going to need some obsidian. Because we're going to need to make some obsidian sticks. Uh, we actually get two for each one. That's really cool. There we go. And we're going to need some endery pearls. Because I think to do this, it's something like this. Yeah. There we go. So we're going to need two of these. I think we need two of these. So this little guy is made like this with a stone bowl. Okie doke. Let's make one of you. So we need a sender and we need a receiver for this to work. So I think it's that with that and that. No. That. No. Let's have a look. We want this one. Oh, it's just a... Oh, oh there we go. We need to make that first. All right. So we'll make a couple of those first. Then we'll grab our little bowl. And we also need this, so we're going to need some stone slabs. And we're going to need some more of those wireless majiggers. There we go. And some more stone. Cool beans. So that should do that one. And that would do that one. Brilliant. Wireless receiver, wireless transmitter. And we're also going to need, while we're here, let's get a button. Yeah. That'll do the trick. Because we only want it to go once. We don't need a lever, otherwise it's going to keep trying to place stuff. So having it like that is going to be super handy. And I should probably get my jetpack. 
<laughs> cool beans. All right, guys. I'm going to have a sleep. I'm going to keep building this up because I need to get more of these iron bars around here. And I shall see you in a moo. All right. So let's sort out where we're going to be placing these. So I think, let me put it into hover mode. I want to have these going this way. So one there, one there, one there. And one there. Cool, cool. Oh, we made more than we needed. <laughs> That's fine. And I'm also going to need my autonomous activators. Now, I think these always kind of go a little bit wonky, don't they? Because they need to be going a specific direction. So let's do that. And they should go that way. Yes. Now, I also want to turn these into redstone signal mode because we want to make sure that they're not going off when they don't need to be going off. So we'll have that. And then let's get rid of you. Oh, oh. There we go. That's brilliant. And I'm thinking I might put some blocks around it. I've got 14 blocks. Might look a little bit nicer if I do that. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. So let's put one there, and then we'll put one there. One there, one there. And one there, one there, one there. And like I say, these aren't cheap, but they do look nice. So, you know, we want to try and make it look a little bit nice. So that should do that there. Now, for the autonomous activators, because they're going to be doing the wither skeleton skulls, we're going to have those pointing down, because we want them to place it down, not in front of it. So we'll do that. Let's go over to this side as well. There we go. Cool beans. So on that pointing down, did I get that one? I did. Brilliant. And that should do the trick there. So the rest of this now is pretty much just a bar around it and then we'll sort out the redstone of all of it i'm thinking for this build i'm not gonna automate it fully i'm gonna keep it so that i have to go up there and put the items in there but you know it won't take too it won't take much longer just to uh fit a few pipes and things going up there but for now i want to get it up and working first before i do any more kind of messing around with it, because when I made this originally, oh, there's an insect there, when I made this originally in a test world, I didn't use all of these bars, I made it all with bricks, but I was in creative then, wasn't I, so it really doesn't make a difference, you know, you can get away with making everything out of whatever you like, but I've never tried this with using all bars, I think it's just as blast resistant, the big thing that we have to look out for is the initial explosion by the wither, that's the kind of, the one thing that could cause an issue, but I think these guys do withstand it, so I'm hoping that's going to be fine, and I I think that up there is, is far enough up that the explosion isn't going to destroy those machines because the uh, block places and autonomous activators can get destroyed from the wither explosion. So that's one thing that we do have to look out for. Now we have also got the this guy, which is our draconic guy, our mob grinder, and I'm pretty sure this can just go in there and it should work. From when I tested it, these don't seem to get blown up via the wither explosions, which is what makes them so great. I think the grinders from Mine Factory Reloaded would get destroyed, but these guys don't. So you can pump in power to it, so you can just, you know, put a bit of uh, cable and go into it, or you can put some charcoal in there or coal, and it just does it off of that. <laughs> and it makes, like, a ridiculous amount of power. It will last for ages on a stack of coal. So that's insane. For something that's going to, you know, insta-kill withers, it's pretty good. <laughs> so I like that. But I don't think it, in I don't think it, takes the items that it, that it gets and puts them out though. I think it just kills them. So I've made this little hatch here so I can go in there and grab the items while it's done exploding and dying. That's that's the plan. So, yeah. Eventually we might put some... Uh, I was thinking of having another, another little hole here with some... and putting them further enough back, having some of uh, the fans from extra utilities to blow the items over this way because putting anything near it that can suck items up gets insta exploded <laughs> for it to get in range so i need a way to push the items out without them getting damaged so that's uh something that we might look into at some point but now let me go get some more of these bars i've cooked up a few stacks of this dark iron and we'll start messing around with the redstone side of it Okay, so let's look at the redstone side of this. I'm thinking of using some red net because I do like red net. I think it's a very cool mod. So we're going to do a little bit of this. Or a very cool mod. It's a very cool item from Mine Factory Reloaded. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So that's going to do that. Now this should be enough. I would like to give this a test drive. And I think I have some soul sand. Yeah. Okie doke. D do I have any... I'd like to try this with something. 
don't think I do. Aha, yes. I do, very much. Cool, cool. So we're going to uh, test drive this with planting neverworts on soul sand. Because it's basically the same thing. I just want to make sure this is going to work first. Before I try and do it and waste anything. So, let's make our way up over here. Now we're going to have some bits down here. Which I think is going to be around here. So we're going to have our wireless transmitter. And we can put you kind of around here somewhere, I think. Let's put you here. For now. And we'll have that there. And then we'll have a boot on on that. And we're going to set this to 4001, because why not? And, oh, there's one of you. Thank you very much. Let's go up here. And you may be thinking I'm crazy putting cobblestone at the top, but I think, uh, this is me trying to, uh, <laughs> I think this is, uh, I think this is right. I don't think the blast can make its way up here. So, yeah, famous last words. Now let's put you on there, and we're going to connect this up. So we're going to have you come along here, like this. Go into these guys. There we go. And that should do the trick there. We're going to set this to 4001 as well. So that's now connected. Very nice. I love how these little things twirl around. It looks so cool. Now let's give this a test run. So we're going to put some never warts inside here. So we'll have a little bit in there. Have a little bit in here. And then for these guys, we want our soul sand to be evenly distributed. So we'll have that there. That there. That there. And that there. Did I put one in there? I did. Okay. So hopefully this is going to work. I can't remember if in my test world I put like a wither shape in front of it so the block places have something to place the block against. So we might have to check that out, but let's give it a try. Oh, it's looking promising. Eee, it didn't do the warts. <laughs> Why didn't you do the warts? Did you not want to do it? Aim low, high, ignored. Hmm. I think it's going to work. <laughs> but I think the Neverwarts just didn't work. But I think it's going to work. Uh, I did. This is how I had this out before. So, yeah. But I just wanted to, you know, kind of test it out first. But at least we know that this is placing correctly. So, and that's the main thing. So, we got these going in, which is great. And should we put the rest in here? We might as well, haven't we? We've got, what, a little bit here. So let's do that. So we'll have you in there. We'll have you in there. You in there. And we'll do you in there. Okie doke. All right. Now, the last thing that I did that makes it a little bit easier is place some water around here so the items get pushed forward a little bit, which is which is nice. It also means that we don't have any mobs spawning in here, because as far as I'm aware, once the wither starts blowing up, all these torches are going to disappear. So to stop that from happening, I'm going to place... I'm going to do this a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of this. So we're going to have that there. We're going to bring this around. And I hope that the wither isn't going to be able to blow these source blocks up. When withers do their explosion, they can destroy source blocks, but I don't think they'll be able to destroy these if they're underneath this little archway, so... We'll have to see, but it will destroy the water at the front. It makes kind of a little bit of a weird glitch with the way the water flows, so you, you'll probably see this in a second, but yeah, we're going to do that, and I'm going to break this one here so that when the water breaks through the explosion, it has somewhere to go, and I think going down there is probably a good plan. Let's get some of this as well, because we don't want this going to waste. Let's see if I can get down there quickly. Let's go down here. There we go. And we'll do... We'll do that. There we go. Did I just cover that up? I'm pretty sure I accidentally clicked and covered that up. I did. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> uh, it was that one, wasn't it? Okie dokie. So I think we're almost ready to give this a test run. See how it goes. It could go one of two ways. It could go brilliantly. Or it could go horrendously, and uh, yeah, we could have a big old problem on our hands. <laughs> but I have faith. I have faith. Yes, just about. Um, is there anything else we need to do? Uh, we need to give that power. That's the one. <laughs> oh, that would have sucked. I can understand, you know, certain bits blowing up here and there. That's fine, because the, the killer guy is going to kill the wither anyway. So I haven't got to worry too much about the wither escaping. It's I'd rather not have my autonomous activators and things like that blow up, because that would suck very much so so let's take some coal and we're gonna bring this over and hope that this works this is why i have second thoughts because i built it in the test world and i think to myself i'm doing it now and i'm thinking oh man 
did I have it on peaceful in the test world? And I was like, no, because the wither wouldn't spawn. Maybe I had this. No. Well, let's find out. There we go. We're going to put that in there. I'm going to let it build up some power because I don't know if it requires a certain amount to kill certain things. Uh, for instance, if it, you know, if it kills a skeleton, it might take 10 RF or 100 RF. If it kills a wither, it might be like a thousand or something. So I'm going to let it build up a little bit of a buffer. And uh, look at that. Look how the little things moving around. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right. And uh, what is left to do? We've got the soul sand. Never skulls. <laughs> Wither skulls. Oh, man. I'm so unprepared for this this sort of stuff. <laughs> Let's go get our uh, wither skulls from inside here. Now, like I say, this hasn't been chunk loaded, so I think we've only got about 15. But that's more than enough. I need one for starting the draconic evolution power stuff. And I need one for... What else do I need one for? Mm, that's locked. That should have uh, saved that, shouldn't it? There we go. <laughs> Why didn't you do that a minute ago? Yeah, so uh, I am uh, I need one for being able to make the Draconic Evolution stuff. I need another one for making an Angel Ring from Extra Utilities because there's many different ways to fly. There's RF jetpacks, there's IC2. Load me back here again. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to get some Mistcraft books to sort that out. But yeah, there's uh, there's that. And I would like the Angel Ring because, like I said, there's there's many different types of ways of flying in this mod pack. We have Britannia, we have IC2, we have RF jetpacks, we have Farmcraft, but all in all, none of them are as good as a Angel Ring because it's totally free of charge. So once we get one of those, I'm going to be making it straight off the bat. We do need to do the Ritual, though, to get the Division Sigil activated, but we did get two of those in the last episode, which is very handy. So let's get our Wither Skulls inside our autonomous activators and we should give it a test drive see how it works so we'll have you in here let's share these out so we've got three haven't we so we'll have we'll do it like that three cool beans four in each okie dokie very nervous but excited to see if this works. I have a feeling it's just going to explode. The wither's going to get out. I'm going to run for my life. Their base is going to get blown up. <laughs> it's uh, not going to go well, but there we go. Push the buttons. And it didn't place the skulls. Okay. All right. So I'm happy that it didn't place the skulls. That means that I'm not going to get attacked. Actually, is this going to kill me? I don't think it does. No. All right. It didn't place the skulls. All right. So how do we want this? Yeah, I've got it on the right click. So maybe we want it on aim level. Maybe not aim down. I might have got that wrong. Let's try this again. How many we got? Five, three, three. We'll put a little bit more in here. Uh, that one's got a load now, I think. Okay. Let's try again. Okay, we've spawned a wither. He's going down. I'm going to stand back because we still get we will get hit by the explosion. The water should push him forward. And he's dead. <laughs> yes! There we go, it worked! I did get blown back a little bit, but it worked, see? And the uh, the mob grinder didn't explode, which is brilliant, and none of my stuff up there blew up. Oh yeah! We done it! And see what I mean? Why I put that little hole there? See? Uh, <laughs> I kind of know what I'm doing sometimes. Cool beans. All right, so that's working just fine. I can come in here, grab the goods, and the one good thing, and even though it doesn't really make a difference because the uh, any mob that spawns in here anyway is just going to get insta-blown up via this grinder, but if I go on F7 and uh, we have a look over here, you can see that there's uh, spawning areas there. There should be spawning areas here, shouldn't there? But there's not because where the wither caused the water to kind of glitch out along here, it still thinks there's something there. Which is a strange one. I don't know why it does that, but it does. And I should probably light these up, actually. Otherwise, we will have guys spawning around here. All right, let's light these up as well. Cool, cool. All right, then. Should we give it one more go? Another wither. <laughs> Coming down. I'm going to stand back a little bit. And he should pop, and the grinder should kill him. 
Come on. And he's dead. <laughs> Good times. Wither down. Oh, I did blow this bit up though. The explosion does kind of come out here a little bit, so you've got to be a little bit careful of that happening. And we have got some uh, experience around here. There we go. So we have got, yeah, we're probably going to have to layer some of this with more of these bricks, maybe. We'll put another one there as well. Because the blast basically shoots out this way, so you got to watch out for that. That's why we have to build that so high, because the blast shoots up like a tunnel and uh, does that. But yeah, I'm super excited that this works, and I'm super happy this mob grinder doesn't blow up. It's another reason why Draconic Evolution is so uh, overpowered. <laughs> that the machines don't even die to wither explosions, they're pretty insane. Seeing as it own, it's own, it's a, all it is is a mob grinder. Yeah, and uh, we've used... So it does use a lot of power, you can see it's still going up there, and it's been a minute, it's been a little while since we did it. Should we see how much power it actually uses? So, so far we've gone through five bits of coal to kill two withers. So let's give it another go. We're on full power at the minute, so we have 2,000. As soon as it pops, I'm going to run in and have a look. And we'll see how much power we've used up. Alright, Wither's dead. They used up the whole lot. So it uses up pretty much the whole 2,000 to kill the Wither. So, yeah, bear that in mind. That you don't want to keep spawning them over and over again. Because you will end up with a uh, bit of an issue. <laughs> Your withers will start flying up. If it starts flying up, you're going to have a real problem then because he's not going to be in range of this thing. So, I would recommend that instead of using coal, it's probably best to use an energy cube. Get yourself an energy cube, pop it down here, have some cables going into it that are feeding it like a good amount of RF per tick. And this will fill up real fast. It's only going slow at the minute because we're burning coal. But hey, that's not bad, is it? Three withers for the cost of, what's that, like six bits of coal? That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yes. And all of this stuff is pretty much early game available as well because you only need to get yourself the uh, coal and the iron and obsidian to make these blocks. So, overall, I think it's a success. Yeah. We might go ahead and make a more effective one later on in the series. Once I build the main area... There's a little person over there. <laughs> Once I go ahead and make the main area, I might go and do that. Which I am working on. It's inside that miscraft book that some of you have probably been looking at. And we'll go there eventually. But it's taken me a little bit more time to make than I thought it would. Just because it's so expensive to make all the blocks I'm making out of. So that's one thing. But once that's made, we'll move in there. And we might start, you know, we might change this around a little bit. I would like to automate this a little bit better. So I might add some pipes taking the items up this way into the... Uh, and to these guys, but for now, you know, all I gotta do is just fly up there and put me in myself, it's not hard. And I want something that collects the items, so yeah. Maybe we'll do like a fan further that way, pushing the items this way, and then into like a chest or something. That might work. Because the items are gonna come down here anyway, aren't they? Because of the water flowing. But I like that the none of the water source blocks behind there have been destroyed either, and they're only one block back underneath that, so that's quite handy as well. But overall, I would say a success. Good times. And I got myself free never stars. <laughs> We can get into Draconic Evolution now, and we can get myself my angel ring and many other cool things. Oh, yes. And all of these things. Oh, and some mint yellow hearts. Brilliant. Cool beans, guys. All right. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, of course, you can uh, subscribe to see more. And don't forget to drop a like. I'll see you soon. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one, as always. And bye-bye.